I was saying to myself, I said, well, you know, Lord, this is a Christian program, and it's turning over me, and they talk long. But God just kept feeding me some stuff. He said, look, I need you to say this today. That's right, that's right. So I, I, I got to say what God gave me. And yeah. I, I know it's Christmas time. I know you got the, the gifts under the tree, and you can't wait to get home. And, and I know that. But, 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 but the day is a special day. Yeah. And, and if you would, just for a moment, I need you to look into the Gospel of Matthew. We want to lift up just a few verses out of the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. Matthew, the second chapter. And we want to lift up the 16th, the 19th, and the 20th verse. The Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. If you have to say amen. 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 The 16th verse in the second chapter. And it reads, it says, Then Herod, when he saw that he was marked of the wise men, was exceedingly wrought. In other words, he was mad. And sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. Mm. And in all the coast thereof from two years old and under. According to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Alright, let's go down to the 19th verse. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the youth, young child's life. Hmm. They are already dead. They are dead. And as I look at this text and I begin to wonder about some things that are currently going on, some things that are happening now in this 21st century. Yes, yes. And as I look at the word Christmas, and, and if you take the word Christmas and between the T and the M, if you would, just imagine with me now. I want you to use your imagination. Take the word Christmas and between the T and the M, let's put a hyphen and some space in between that. And it'll say Christ must. And I want to speak from the topic Christ must. Amen. Today, mm -hmm. Christ must. Take your time, preach. Christ must. Two weeks ago, it wasn't long at all. Two weeks ago, it, it wasn't long. Uh, very close to Shaw Air Force Base, and so for there was an activity scene that uh, was was set up on the highway. And uh, according to the news, uh, the nativity scene was there uh, in the proximity right off the road. Uh, and you know, a nativity scene is actually a, uh, a little thing that they put up, and it, and it represents the, uh, the baby Jesus, and, and, and in pictures of the biblical account of how Jesus came into the world, into the stable, and had the, the little lambs and the and the things around the manger, so to speak. And I'm not, I'm not that big on, on setting up things like that, but, 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 but what it does, it just gives you a picture of what the Bible is talking about. But someone complained about the nativity scene and, and filed an injunction and made them take it down. And just... A few days ago, a 
a father of a reality show, a duck dynasty, if you will. They, uh, the father read a passage out of 1 Corinthians and went on to explain it on the show and was suspended. The family wasn't suspended, but, but he was suspended off of the show. Mm -hmm. Just a few weeks ago, and you know they took prayer out of school, but have you ever seen so many school shootings in the past two years that ever before in history? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's as, as if God has been kicked out of the school and there's no safety whatsoever. Satan can come in any time. Yeah. He gets ready. You're right, you're right. And, and the thing is, I really don't care how you feel about that man that, that read uh, from 1 Corinthians on the Duck Dynasty, but, 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 but what he read was the truth. Yeah. And the world has always rejected the truth. And I'm not saying this because, because, because of who he is in this show, but I'm talking about it from a standpoint of what God's word says. Where is the church? Where is the church when, when we know that Christ must Mm -hmm. yes. Christ must be in our lives yes, sir. in order for us to survive. Yeah, yeah. Christ must be our, in our mm -hmm. home in order to cover our families. Yeah. Christ must be in the way we carry ourselves in order for us to behave properly. Mm -hmm. Christ must. Mm -hmm. He has to be there. He has to be there. I wouldn't want it any other way. And here, we read in the text this morning that, 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 that he, Aaron, the king, in Matthew, the 16th, uh, second chapter, chapter, the 16th verse, Heaven sent forth a decree to kill all of the children, the male children in Bethlehem from two years old and under, trying to kill Jesus the Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. He was trying to kill Jesus the Christ.
my sister, I said, I understand that and, and to each his own, but you have to understand that if the world needs anything, it needs a savior. He's more than a prophet. He's God himself. And as soon as I said that, you got up with a smile, I guess she was shaking her head thinking that I was dumb and I didn't know what I was talking about. And she smiled and left. Jesus is more than a prophet. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't get so wrapped up in these gifts and presents and, these, and putting up your tree in decorations until you forget to explain to your children that Christ must be in this house.
Go ahead, go ahead. I got your back, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> when all of us mm -hmm. should be striving in their holiness. Yes, sir. We all should be striving to live a life of holiness. Yes. Where is the church? Where is the church? Don't take Christ out of prison. Mm -mm. But we used to look at the TV and would say Merry Christmas. Yes. But pretty soon you'll look at the television and all it's going to say is season green. Mm. Oh yeah. Pretty soon you won't be able to answer the phone no more and say Merry Christmas to somebody. It'll be Happy Holidays. But I just stopped by and tell you this morning Preach, preach That I can't imagine this world without a Christmas mm -hmm. Because this season more than any other season Christ must 